Well, <clears throat> Chief is a, a stray dog who is rounded up with all the dogs in the city of Megasaki. Uh, and he's been exiled on this island uh, to live out his days in discomfort because there's a fear of dog flu. It's not real, but um, the rhetoric and the, the propaganda against dogs is believed. So every dog from the city is put on this island called Trash Island. It's the island where they dump all the trash. And symbolic of that is the, the dogs are treated like garbage. Well, a mascot is someone that gets taken along for the ride. When there's going to be a great success, the chance of a great success, when there's the chance of a great success, you need a mascot. Someone that's going to be with you when things get tough, but someone that you're really going to want to be there when things go well. Rex describes himself as sleeping on a lamb's wool bean bag next to an electric space heater. He's probably comfortably middle class, maybe upper middle class, but he has a work ethic. He's scrappy. At the same time, psychologically, Trash Island is difficult for him. Hmm. I like the, I like I like sp I admired Spots. I thought Spots was a was a very uh was a very uh, was a very was a very nice dog. He's a really good. I would love to have a dog like Spots, and it was uh, it was very strange to think about how to play him. I just um, I just felt like he had a real sense of duty and and a real sense of honor and um, really cared about people. Because um, I you know I don't normally get to play those kinds of characters. I was stroking this uh, Scotch Terrier. And he bit my thumb, and I started to pull it away, and I couldn't, he wouldn't release. He didn't growl, he just simply bit it and held it. And I almost fainted. But uh, it didn't instill in me a terror of dogs. But I understood from that experience how it could. And I love his name, Duke. It reminds me of, uh, would you know who I'm talking about if I said, Would you know who I was talking about? Of course, Duke Ellington. That's right, Duke Ellington. What does Nutmeg see in Chief? Sort of a survivor. Um, she knows what it's like to lose something and come back stronger and not be afraid of what lies ahead you know she she knows what it's like to be that that kind of dog um and plus he you know he's just the right amount of bite when i was little my my uh, grandfather and my uncle each owned a kind of a movie studio uh at one point when i was about 10 i broke my arm and nobody knew what to do with me so we took a train to los angeles and the day after I got there, they put me in my nicest outfit. You know, I looked like Little Lord Fauntleroy or some, or a Jewish Little Lord Fauntleroy. And I showed up at MGM to watch the filming of a movie called Meet Me in Las Vegas. And I got to sit in a special chair with my name on it. And I think probably after that, you might as well have exposed me to some crystal meth or something at the age of 10 because I craved it ever since that day. <clears throat> dogs are they're given by God in a way and they're uh, their responsibility to to use not as a servant but as uh, as a as a sounding board as a, a demonstration of what your obligation is to life that you must serve you know, when you wake up in the morning you know the ranchers say you got to take care of your cattle before you feed yourself Oracle is a pug specifically a companion breed pug. Uh, this breed is often described by the Latin phrase multum in parvo, or much in little, or a lot of dog in a small space. The heart of a dog is a bottomless thing. <laughs> 